Good morning students. Hope you all are fine and doing well in your studies. So as we have already started with our chapter, uh, we have already started with our chapter adjectives and I have started explaining the types of adjectives. So let's continue with the topic. So our next adjective is interrogative adjectives. So interrogative adjectives are also just like interrogative, these are the interrogative pronouns. So these interrogative pronouns when followed by a noun, it turns, in, it starts functioning as an interrogative adjective. So we can say that words that are used with nouns, okay, the question words that are used with nouns to ask questions are called interrogative adjectives. So, let's take some examples here. So, the first example is, whose book is this? So, here I am writing the first example. Whose book is this? And then question mark. So, whose book is this? Here, whose is a interrogative pronoun. But this interrogative pronoun is followed by a noun book. Okay. So as the interrogative pronoun here followed by a noun. That's why now this interrogative pronoun it is functioning as a, as a as an interrogative adjective. Okay. Instead of functioning as a pronoun now it is functioning as an interrogative adjective. So let's take one more example here. So we can take the example like uh, you can say which color looks better. Which color looks better? Again question mark. So which color looks better? Here again we can see that which is an interrogative pronoun. But here the same thing is here which is followed by a noun color. So as here it is followed by a noun color. So that's why now here which is functioning as an interrogative adjective in place of, uh, in place of an interrogative pronoun. Okay. So which color looks better here which is functioning as an interrogative adjective. So I think interrogative adjective is clear to everybody. That means that the interrogative pronouns when these pronouns are followed by a noun. So it functions like an interrogative adjective. So let's check what is the difference between different interrogative adjective and interrogative pronoun. So interrogative adjective asks a question and describes a noun. Whereas interrogative pronoun, it asks a question but does not describe a noun. It stands alone. Okay. So this is the difference between interrogative adjective and interrogative pronoun that interrogative adjective describes a noun whereas interrogative pronoun stands alone does not describe a noun. So let's take the example of both interrogative adjective and interrogative pronoun. So in interrogative adjective, let's take the example, which color looks better? Which color looks better? So here in this we can see that the interrogative pronoun which is followed by a noun color. Okay. So that's why here it is functioning as an interrogative adjective. Okay. So which color looks better. Now let's take the example of interrogative pronoun now. So the example here is what should I buy for? What? Should I buy for 
the new year day new year day so in this question we can see that the interrogative pronoun what stands alone okay it does not describe it is not describing any noun here it stands alone so our last adjective is possessive adjective okay possessive adjective shows something belong to somebody something belongs to somebody so it tells us about the ownership so possessive adjectives are also are uh, the possessive pronoun so when these possessive pronouns are followed by a noun it functions as a possessive adjective so just like the demonstrative adjective interrogative adjective here the possessive adjectives also function as a possess uh, these are possessive adjective is also actually a possessive pronouns and it functions as possessive adjectives when these pronouns followed by a noun so let's take some examples here you can see this table so in this table we can see that the first person second person third person first person the person who speaks is called the first person second person to whom we are speaking is called the second person and third person the person about whom we are speaking are known as the third person here singular and plural so here all the things are given here about the possessive adjective so in first person singular number we use my so my in both the cases male and female we use my to shows the possession and in plural number we use our in both the cases male and female we use our to show the possession and in second case of second person we use your in both singular and in plural uh, singular and plural adjectives we use your for both male and female in case of third person in case of male we use his in case of female we use her and in case of non personal we use its and in case of plural we use their okay for for both male and female so this uh, this is the table so we will let us take one example and we'll change that example in we will use the same example for all the cases so the example is my book is on the table so whose book here it is giving us the answer of whose okay so possessive adjective in possessive adjective may, uh, we get the answers of whose so here i am saying my book is on the table so my book is on the table whose book my book that means singular number here first person singular number it can be male or female so in place of my if i write here in place of my if i write here our okay if i write here our books are on the table so you can see if i write here our books are on the table so it here we can see it is converted into plural number our is used for both male and female okay the next example we can take of the second person your so in place of our if we write here your your book is your book is on the table that means we are using second person singular okay now if in place of your book is on the table that is second person singular now if i say your books are on the table we are using second person plural okay 
एंड इट इज यूजिंग फॉर बोथ मेल एंड फीमेल नाउ द थर्ड पर्सन थर्ड पर्सन हिज हिज एज आई टोल्ड यू यूज फॉर द मेल सो हियर वी कैन राइट हिज बुक इज ऑन द टेबल इन द सेम वे वी कैन चेंज इट इट इन टू हर इफ वी राइट हर बुक इज ऑन द टेबल दैट मीन्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ फीमेल सिंगुलर नंबर नाउ नेक्स्ट इज देयर इफ इन प्लेस ऑफ हर इफ आई राइट हियर देयर बुक्स आर ऑन द टेबल सो हेयर अगेन वी कैन सी दैट वी आर यूजिंग इट फॉर द प्लूरल नंबर of the third person i think it is clear to everybody now so let's see what is the difference between possessive adjective and possessive pronoun so possessive adjective it is used to show ownership and comes before a noun in the sentence whereas possessive pronoun it shows ownership but does not come before a noun it can also be used to replace a noun so this is the difference between possessive adjective and possessive pronoun so let's take the example to understand it well so for possessive adjective we can take the example this is my phone so i am saying this is my phone so you can see here my is a possessive pronoun as but it is coming just before the noun that's why it is functioning as a possessive adjective here now let us take the example of possessive pronoun we can take the same sentence here so we can write here this phone is mine so this phone is mine so if we can see here that the possessive pronoun mine it does not follow the noun or it is not coming before the noun so it is possessive pronoun this phone is mine if we simply write this is mine so in that case so it is replacing the noun so this is enough for today and we have completed our chapter today and from tomorrow we'll start with our next chapter so thank you and have a nice day just learn the chapter and prepare this chapter well for your half yearly exam okay thank you and have a nice day